this episode, we explore Singapore's first ASEAN Heritage Park and our largest mangrove forest ecosystem. A protected sanctuary to Singapore's largest apex predator. Today, we look at the king of the mangrove. Sungai Bulu was officially gazetted as a nature reserve in 2002 and is home to an extensive range of wildlife. As part of the East Asian Shorebird Network, it is a refuge for migratory birds, some even coming as far as Siberia. Sungai Bulu Wetland Reserve is one of Singapore's last remaining bastions of true wilderness. A rich ecosystem sustaining both terrestrial and aquatic life forms. Consisting of mangroves and forests to mudflats and freshwater ponds. But look beyond the surface and you will uncover the true hidden gem. Hidden amongst the thick mangrove roots sits a stealthy predator, the apex of the mangrove, the saltwater crocodile. Capable of growing up to over 6 meters in length, they are the largest reptiles on the island and have established a significant presence here. Only made possible by a thriving ecosystem. Being cold blooded, they may seem sedentary at times, basking in the warm sunlight. However, the crocodiles of Sunai Bulo play a crucial role at the top of the food chain. A food chain that begins with microscopic algae that feeds macroinvertebrates and sustains larger fish like tilapia and mullet. These fish then support the variety of wildlife in Sungai Bulu, from storks to monitor lizards. But at the very top of this ecological pyramid sits the apex of the mangrove. Being masters of ambush, they stalk their prey under the cover of the silty, brackish water. They use their powerful jaws and line the conical teeth to feast on other mangrove inhabitants and in particular, fish. Being an indicator species, their healthy population indicates that the mangrove system is large enough to house predators like themselves and rich enough to feed them.
saltwater crocodiles have always been native to Singapore. Before urbanisation, mangroves made up 13% of Singapore's original forest area. Sightings of both juveniles and adults is a positive sign that the numbers are coming back. Nature is all about balance, and the ability of these creatures to coexist with one another is a testament to the strong ecological capacity of the wetland reserve. Although Sungai Bulo is known for its crocodiles, the park is also home to many charismatic animals. Conservation is about more than just individual species, but a preservation of habitats. By shedding a light onto Sungai Bulo, we hope that we can continue to marvel at the beauty of our mangroves, the home of our crocodiles. <laughs>